everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making Korean spicy chicken, tak pokumtang, in an instant pot. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Now I'm going to make this recipe like I normally would, except I didn't have any black pepper or ginger. So add those if you'd like to. If you don't have it, you don't need it because it turned out great either way. The only difference between making it in an instant pot and an actual stovetop, I wouldn't throw it in the stovetop with frozen chicken breast, nor would I use chicken broth. But I'm going to do it in this pot because obviously you need the broth to make things thin so nothing burns. So I'm going to start off by adding three large chicken breasts in there. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of soybean paste. The soybean paste is supposed to help with making it less smelly, I guess. But um, you would do that and just throw that in the chicken pot. And while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and make my seasoning mix, which is with three tablespoons of I'm using gluten-free soy sauce or tamari you can use just regular soy sauce is fine everything works out the same if you use gluten-free or not a tablespoon of hot pepper paste a tablespoon of pureed garlic and I'm using about one eighth of uh, Splenda but you can use brown sugar Splenda if you'd like or just brown sugar or regular sugar if that's what you have once you have all of your ingredients in there, go ahead and give everything a nice mix until everything's nicely blended. Again, I did not have any ginger or black pepper. If you have those, add like a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and maybe like a half an inch of minced ginger in there. But again, if you don't have it, you don't need it. It's not necessary because it still turned out really well. But I also added a tablespoon of rice wine in there. If you don't have rice wine, use soju. Or if you just don't have anything at all, you can skip it just trying to make things as easy as possible okay so everything's going inside of my instant pot i do have my soybean paste with my chicken in there and i'm just going to go ahead and blend up my seasoning mix pour that right into it and then i'm going to add this is where i would normally not add chicken broth this is where i'm going to add a quarter cup of chicken broth right, right into the same bowl of the seasoning mix so i don't waste any of my mix if i had any well you know you can see it right there just mix it up in there and just throw that right into the pot as well once you have all of your ingredients placed inside of your pot do the best that you can to mix it up i know it's difficult with frozen chicken but again, just blend everything up as well as you can, making sure you get your soybean paste into the pot and spread around your chicken as well as you possibly can. Now, without having to show you guys, I did go ahead and wash and chop up and peel whatever it is that I needed, one large potato, one large carrot, and one large onion, and two large chunks. How many times can I say large in a sentence? <laughs> But I did throw that right on top and then I went ahead and sealed and closed it making sure your uh, little knob in the back is set on seal and we're going to pressure cook this for 27 minutes making sure that everything is on normal and check your pressure level to do that to make sure it is on normal. Alright 27 minutes later and look at this beauty. So while that was cooking I grabbed three large green onions cleaned it up and then I chopped them into one inch pieces and all I'm going to do is throw that in there right at the end right here because I don't want it to be on wilty is that a word wilty but I didn't want it to be wilted when it was cooking so I just wanted them to look more fresh and nice for presentation obviously and a little bit of flavor so throw that in your pot give it a good mix because everything is still warm in there very hot actually so it's going to cook a little bit and it'll be fine so you're going to let it sit in there for a second and let it stir around and then i'm grabbing a pair of scissors because i'm trying to make life easy here i don't want to take it out and have to chop it up on a board so i'm going to grab a pair of scissors and then cut these up into large chunks like you would normally eat spicy korean chicken once that is done all we have to do is just set this on a plate sprinkle some sesame seeds on there and you are done now I wanted to make this dish because I mean this is something I make all the time but I don't always make a video because I already had one but I wanted to try it out in the instant pot to see if a Korean dish would actually work inside of this machine and it did it turned out beautifully the family loved this dish it was just absolutely successful in my household so if you guys like this recipe please subscribe and until the next meal thank you for watching watch me cook